Hey folks, this is Matthew with River Ponix. Today I'm going to introduce my mini Vortex bucket. Uh, my past videos with my larger growth systems, I do uh, bigger Vortex buckets and stuff for the commercial end of things. But I decided, uh, I had some um, comments and people asking about installing something for smaller units. So I actually took the time and developed a uh, little mini Vortex. And I'll show you how this works. And this is just another benefit to have optimum growing results. Um, structuring water is very beneficial in so many different ways. And how you structure water is you vortex it. And vortexing, uh, you can actually go online and just type in structured water and look on YouTube. There's plenty of videos about it. Um, but basically, in a nutshell, it um, reorganizes the molecules of the water. It makes water more absorbable for your plants. And the way this is designed, it's coming right off my brewer and feeding the mini vortex. So you can see how that water is flowing in there. So that's giving additional oxygen to the water. All right, then it's vortexing and spinning through, mixing and stirring. And then I have an overflow right there. This, this piece right here, this pipe is an overflow. And then you can see it down there, it's also giving additional aeration to the water. And since I've started vortexing, it's definitely cleared up my water. So it's, it's doing a, a remarkable job, I would say. Um, with this outfit here, being in the reservoir, there are no glue fittings to the vortex bucket. Although this... This one here is glued because I had it sitting outside on the floor. And so there's two different options. You can do this. You can have it outside your reservoir or inside. But I prefer to have it inside the brewer or inside the reservoir so you don't have to worry about gluing parts. And if you do have any overflow issues, it's going to drop right back down in the reservoir. But as you can see, it's working like a charm. You can see the feet down there I built. Like I said, this pipe here is your overflow, and then that pipe there is attached to the other foot, has a control valve that goes to my grow system. All right, so that goes over there in that first grow channel and serpentines through that grow channel and then drains out right there and then comes back up into this grow channel here and serpentines through. And then there's the drain back to the reservoir so it forms a closed loop so my patented brewer here there's an air pump and this whole unit runs on 40 watts so this water is being super oxygenated all right so when you implement the vortex bucket it uh, has many benefits and if you observe nature um, plants mimics vortexing seashells um, just the universe itself our milky ways of vortex uh, if you look at animals like antelope and, and rams and stuff like that their horns they're shaped as a vortex so everything has a rhyme and reason with what we live in even if you look at our fingerprints our fingerprints are come to a vortex point you know Okay, so basically you have a control valve there that controls the amount of fluid that flows out of the brewer. And then, uh, let's see if I can get a better shot. You see the pipe there. And there's no glue fittings to the brewer either, so every like this pops right off. But that's feeding the vortex bucket. And it's vortexing. And I just explained how this works down below. Get your overflow, and then you got a, that half inch black tube that feeds the grow system with the control valve. It's really that simple. And this might look complicated looking at it like this, but it's actually really simple. All right. So, for a limited time, I am going to offer 
the mini vortex with uh, a purchase of a grow system. This is something I'm going to offer for a while. Um, get people interested, trying it out. I will sell these just individually as well too. Uh, I don't have this on my website, but um, you can call. And I, I recommend and I encourage people to call me so we can work out deals because I can park pieces out. You know, I can sell you just the grow channels, um, anything, just the framework, just the brewer itself, just the vortex bucket. I can sell you a grow system without the brewer. I mean, you tell me what you want and I'll work with you. But this is a self-watering system. You don't have to top water this stuff. It does it itself. It wicks up. And this is a soilless mix here. And then I have soil back there. And if you notice that soil is dry on top, but if you pull that soil back about an inch underneath, the soil is moist. So the benefit of that from versus top watering, you're not, you're not gonna get that algae growth having dry soil on top. So it's a real benefit. Jalapeno, it's grown in rock wool. Rock wool there, I had to cover it up. I initially didn't have plastic over this. And so it started getting algae growth. So I learned my lesson, start covering that up. With the rock wool, you have to prime it. So you have to top water it at first to prime it. And that's where you get your allergy growth. Other than that, if you look on the sides and stuff, there's really not any growth going on. But honestly, I really like the soilless in the soil. And if you want to have longevity plants, that's the way to go. Well, I figured I'd go ahead and show you my other grow tent. This is my two by four. And I can uh, show you since I've installed two boards from Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. Um, my lettuce has gotten really big. Actually, it's time to harvest it now. But these little starter cups I've covered in other videos with the, the wicks. Um, they're already germinating now, you can see, with the soil. These are uh, new lettuce starters and um, orchid moss. And here's another one here in the soil with the wick starting. This is uh, another growing technique with uh, using clay balls, completely soilless, and using cylinders. Uh, there again, you can view my past videos from, I don't know, a week and a half ago or so. And look how much roots I have already established since my last video. That's crazy, man. It really is crazy. But I would pull one of these lettuce heads, but I got a feeling that might be a chore. <laughs> so, but man, they've gotten just, they're huge and they're beautiful. My Lord. And I'm, I'm only using 72 watts, just two boards in here. And I mean, that's equivalent to you know, your an incandescent standard ball, basically. And uh, these lights have the full spectrum, full spectrum LEDs. And I'm just really ecstatic of the performance. This is my other two by four grow tent. And I'm using a Mr. Hue um, LED. And it is also a full spectrum, but you can tell it has a lot of reds and blues. And the plants just don't seem to be as happy, you know? But the one, this is one, uh, this is a jalapeno starter. And I'm using a bag of soil, okay? And it's wicking up, self-watering. And it's a clear bag so I can visualize the roots and the progress. You know, this is the first time I've ever just throwing a bag of soil on this on my grow system just to see what it do but um, the jalapeno seems to be doing well and just so you know for reference I bagged this soil myself and this is actually just pure worm castings nothing more just pure worm castings is all, is all it is and uh, it's a happy plant right there but these other two just aren't as happy compared to uh, 
72 watts over here with all hid, hidden harvest and seeing everything busting out, busting at the seams. And with this setup here, these two grow tents, I'm using one brewer, feeding both grow tents, running on 40 watts. Take care guys, thank you.